Okay, Dr. Foray, next question is, how can you tell if your pet has rabies virus? Yeah, so rabies is a big deal. Um, and rabies is a big deal because it is deadly to pets, but it's also deadly to people. Um, so this is what we call zoonotic, meaning that it is a virus that can cross species. So it can go from an animal um, to a person. So this is a public health concern. Now, the good news for rabies is that we've got really good vaccines. Great um, vaccines. And the vaccine in a vaccinated animal or a vaccinated person, so as a veterinarian, we're actually vaccinated against rabies, right? Um, but it's really good. So if, if you're exposed, um, that really absolutely can, can be a help. But um, in a unvaccinated animal or in wildlife is our big concern. And we do see several wildlife vectors in our area. So skunks, bats, raccoons, these are the big ones that, that we see, uh, but it can be in multiple in multiple animals. Um, you cannot diagnose rabies by the way that it looks. Right. And that's, that's the really tough part with this, is it takes actually a sample of brain tissue to diagnose rabies. And unfortunately, that cannot be done on a live animal. Mm -hmm. um, but rabies is something that the way that it looks is a change in behavior, um, hypersalivation, they're thirsty, they're scared of water. It can almost look like anything because it's affecting the brain. Um, so rabies is something that we definitely see in our area of the world um, and well worth protecting your, your animal against. Now we have a three year rabies vaccine. So once they're, once they're a year of age, this is a core vaccine that your pet will get every three years. Yeah, fun fact, UVH um, kind of uh, works with one of our companies and every time we vaccinate a pet against rabies, we are helping provide a rabies vaccine for um, a third world country to help protect their population too. And their people. And their people.